This week's portion, Bishalach, describes in great detail the miraculous event of the crossing of the sea from Egypt to the other side, and as the Israelites begin their journey from the exodus of Egypt to the promised land. This description not only is read this week in the portion Bishalach, but also is read on the seventh day of Passover, highlighting for us, and, and also the song that was sung by the Israelites as they crossed the sea and witnessed God's great power, not only for saving them, but also for destroying the Egyptian army right on their heels. That song is also incorporated into traditionally into the morning service every single morning in our prayer book. And so it has become part of our religious psyche, this miracle, which and the way the rabbis interpret an aspect of that miracle highlight for us Jewishly two starkly different approaches to understanding how we perceive miracles occurring in our lives. And so for the Torah, it seems pretty clear. Miracle happen, ha miracles happen because God determines that they will. It's as the Torah describes it, God was in charge of and made sure that every single event that dis was described in the Torah happened according to God's plan. God made Moses see the burning bush. God told Moses that he was supposed to lead the people out of Egypt and go to Pharaoh and speak to them. God brought the ten plagues. God told the Israelites when they were supposed to leave Egypt and start the journey. God then told Moses to lift his arm <clears throat> and stretch it over the sea, and then God made the sea open. So for the Torah, Miracles happen because God makes them happen. However, there is a famous midrash that the rabbis create that says something completely different. There the Israelites are at the sea. They hear the Israelites, the Egyptians, rapidly approaching from behind. They cry out to Moses as the Torah describes, What are we supposed to do, Moses? And then Nachshon ben Aminadav, Nachshon who is the chief of the tribe of Judah, takes matters into his own hands. He expresses faith in God. He starts walking into the water. He goes walking into the water until the water is up to his nose, the Midrash says, and only then does God open the water. So for the rabbis, miracles happen when we Term, take matters into our own hands when we feel the faith and trust in God and when we act. When we act and then uh, a great event occurs, then it's as if that event is miraculous. So either way, God makes the miracle happen We or we make matters appear as if they are miraculous to vastly different approaches, but still the lasting effect is the same. The event seems to be miraculous, but for the rabbis, and therefore for us, if we feel passionate, if we see that there is a wrong that needs to be righted, if we take matters into our own hand and act for justice and in God's name, then miracles can truly happen. Shabbat Shalom.